And so has the process basically been you come in with, with tunes written as with lyrics and you go in and, and do you ever give it to Anthony ahead of time and then he uh, no. matches it up with a beat or does no. he just go, here's a beat and you try to figure well, out what you want to do with it? That's See, that that's the beautiful part of working with Ant. See, a lot of people hear the finished product and they hear the beat and the beat is great. Ant's beats are beautiful. There's something very special about the, the musicality of Anthony's beats and the, the emotion that's in his music and the feeling of them that makes you want to write certain shit. But the, the real... Jim about Anthony is the work process. Like the actual sitting in a room and him playing you music. First of all, he, first of all, the relate, it starts with the friendship. Because Anthony has this thing where, especially with me and Slug, which is why he's always going to do his best work with us. We're always going to do our best work with him. That's just the way, we're just, that's how it is. And that's the way our, that way for the rest of life, probably. But the friendship that you have See, Anthony sees things about you that he wants, that he wishes the world could see. And so he's trying to throw you the pitch that's going to let you knock that particular, hit that particular home run. So I remember when I first met him, him saying, man, Slug is real deep and he's, 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 a, he's real deep and got dark, deep places inside him. And I'm glad he's bringing that out in his music. This is like I said, God loves every time. He's like, but see, Slug's a smart ass. You know what I'm saying? Slug is like, I mean, you talk about like doing the dozens or capping or, or, or uh, snapping or whatever, uh, telling jokes on each other. You know what I mean? You're so ugly, blah, blah, blah. Well, fuck you, because blah, blah, blah. All right. Slug doesn't sit there all day and do it. Slug will sit there very quietly the whole night and let it, let it happen. You can even get a few off on him. You know what I mean? But, man, he will hit you with the most cold-blooded, meanest thing and walk out of the room. But it's funny. And you can't say it's not fun. Like, you laugh at yourself, but at the same time, you are destroyed. You're like, man, he's amazing at it. You know what I'm saying? He really, truly is. Um, there's a million stories I could tell about that. I wouldn't tell the meanest one because it sounds meaner than it really was. But, man. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got a lot of them. There's a lot of them, you know what I'm saying? And if you're close with Slug, you done got hit by him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but Anthony, his Ant's probably... But so Ant sees is. that, and he's saying, I mean, how do I show the world that? in the music, you know what I'm saying? Very few people do that, when they, when they, especially in rap. I mean, Quincy Jones might look at, some, look at somebody at Michael Jackson and say, how do I show them this, you know what I mean? But in rap, for somebody to say, I think him and Dre, Dr. Dre, you know, Dr. Dre was like, how do I show people what a weird, what a funky dude Snoop Dogg is? And he was able to do it. Anthony was like, how do I show the people the, wor the, the world that, that Slug's a smart ass? And that he's a beautiful, it's an art form, you know what I'm saying? And um, how do I, you know, I went in there rapping about the hood and stuff, and he's like, but you're, good, you're, you're a great dude. You're just a great young man. I remember, I'll never forget, he told me that. You're a great young man. Like, that meant a lot to me. That's like a big brother to me, you know what I mean? And he was like, we need to show the world that. That's what the world needs to see, you know what I'm saying? So to give you the music, to make you write certain things, or to, or to make you even just take a rap that you had at home and say it with a certain mood that even it's not really even the words like I got a song called Star Quality and the words are just battle rap like it's just like bitch slap but it has a thing to it that Ant made when he said take those rap words that you that I would do over a loud beat you know what I'm saying over loud drums and blah 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 and say it over this smooth shit let me just throw it up. and I'm saying I ain't got but three records so if you, if you ever heard anything you know every song I'm talking about uh, here we go That I got, that's the Quran on it. I flip your eviction notice over, wrote a song on it. Like to hear it, hear it go. Like your spirit, clear your soul. If I would have known that tonight was lady. Now. This should have been a song just for hip hop heads, dudes that listen to lyrics and punchlines and battle rap. That's what the words are. You know what I'm saying? But this became a song that ladies like. And it's the same word. The words ain't got shit to do with it. It's just the mood of the song. It's the, the that little flute sound and the little guitars and, and that that made me bring my voice down a little bit. You know what I mean? And that was another one that we did just right away. I brought in, I came in, there's another one I wrote in my head and was like, man, I'm gonna wrap my ass off when I get to Ann's crib. I'm on the bus, like, man, like, wait, wait, dude. Ba -ba 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 -ba. That's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. So I'm saying it, and he's cool, you know, he's cool. He's drinking a Budweiser or something. I'm like, yeah, that's all right. And I'm just like, fuck, man. You never want to hear that's all right. 
You know what I'm saying? You want to hear, oh shit, or oh, I got goosebumps or something. You know what I'm saying? So I got the that's all right, which is bad. So then he threw this music on, and he's like, just say it, try saying it to this. And I'm just like, you just learn to just try what he tells you to try. You know what I'm saying? And it trust. And it it brought out. I didn't know I could make a song like that. And he'd sit down to me and be like, you know, the melodic mixture of, you know, we could create this. I want to create a musical soundscape where he doesn't know those words. You did. If anybody was at the Ant one or see him or just see him talk anytime, Anthony Davis is a genius. He's a fucking genius on music, life, human relations. And this is not a joke. We laugh at him a lot, a lot when he talks because he talks funny. But it's not a joke. He's a genius. He just does not have the words to explain. His vocabulary is smaller than it than his wisdom is. And so it just comes out, motherfucking, you know, <laughs> shit. But no, but I, I'm saying, I'm serious about this, man. I think people know, I think the people that know him know this. And you can obviously hear it. Like, you obviously know that it's not just that me and Slug are great, which we are, but you know that there's something else going on. You just have to, if, if even just intuitively. But that man's a genius. He just doesn't always have the words to say, which is why he doesn't just fucking rap himself. If he had the words for it, me and Slug still be out here at Scrubs. You know what I'm saying? Slug would have figured it out. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so it's it's beautiful the way that that he's able to uh, to bring things out of his artists, man. Yeah.